Hey guys, it's Grace. So today I'm going to be showing you how I cut and blend my hair extensions. I have the Irresistible Me Volume Vixen 20 inch extensions. Those are really, really cool if you like really, really dramatic, long kind of mermaid looking hair, um, but that's not really my thing. I prefer a little more natural looking extensions that are primarily for volume. So almost every set of clip-in extensions that I've ever bought um, or gotten, I have cut to suit my hair a little bit better. My rule of thumb when it comes to extensions is however you're going to modify them, always work as though it's your real hair. So just think of it as being an extension of what your real hair looks like. So I cut my extensions in the same sort of pattern as my regular haircut. So I have long kind of layers. I don't have crazy layers, but um, my hair is not completely blunt cut. So I did have to uh, cut the front a little bit shorter than the rest and so on. I'll explain everything I do as I go. And I've been wearing hair extensions for years since high school. So I've really learned a lot of tips and tricks that I want to share with you. Just kind of some do's and don'ts on cutting your own hair extensions. I hope you guys find this helpful and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's just get started. So I cut and dyed my extensions on the same day here and I made a video on doing both but that explains the t-shirt. I like to wear a t-shirt that I don't care about when I'm cutting and dyeing my extensions. You're just gonna need a pair of hair cutting scissors, a flat iron, and a hairbrush. So you wanna make sure that you've brushed through your extensions fully before you get started on cutting them just so that you know that it's detangled and even. Next, you just wanna determine how long your natural hair is relative to the extensions. So mine comes up to about here and I think I wanna cut my extensions to about here. This is just the basic first chop. I'm gonna go back in and even everything out. As you can see, I like to move the scissors in sort of a downward motion rather than just cutting straight across. It just helps give it a little bit more of a natural effect and will make it easier to even out later on. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So my hair is a little bit angled, which means that the front pieces are kind of gradually shorter than the back pieces. So I'm going to make my hair extensions mimic that same effect. I'm just clipping my hair out of the way so that none of it gets caught up and cut with my extensions. So as you can see, I'm just angling it, and this just looks a little more natural, gives me some long layers instead of being a completely blunt cut. Now, something I've noticed, it's a little bit difficult to cut your non-dominant side. So I'm a righty, so it's easier for me to cut the left side. So what I like to do is actually close my hair extensions into a drawer, which might seem a little silly, but it's actually really effective. I found this is the easiest way for me to cut them because they're being held in place and they're able to fall the way they naturally fall, but they're not gonna move or shift. So just make sure that they're nice and sturdy in the drawer. And now I'm just going to angle the other side. And this is just the top piece. I have them both hanging here so that I can compare them and make sure that they are even. So this is just the next to top three clip piece. And as you can see, there's just sort of some uneven areas from when I did the big cut. So I'm just trimming these and making it all even. I like to cut up into my extensions just because it gives it a little bit more of a natural look. So I did this with every single piece, but I figured that there was no reason to show all of them. That's just, you do the same thing with every piece. And 
and this is how it turned out. Now when you put your hair extensions back into your hair, you just want to double check that you didn't miss any pieces or that nothing looks strange. I noticed when I put mine back in that the bottom piece looked a little bit too long, but I realized that that was just because I had it put in at a weird angle, so I just fixed that. You don't want to go ahead and make any big decisions and cut anything if it might just be that your extensions are clipped into the wrong place, you know? So you want to always just make sure they're clipped in the right place and then if anything looks really astray, then you can go back in and trim it. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I think it looks really good and natural. Um, it blends in really well with my natural haircut with the long layers and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know what videos you want to see next from me.